Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. This is an interesting thing brought up by Joe McMouse, WB2ZDB. And uh, the question is uh, simple, but it turns out it really has applications for those who want to learn the Morse code. Uh, his question is simply, can he take a Morse code oscillator and place it next to an FM radio and send code to a friend that way so that they can do practice? Or for that matter, if this is done at a club level, can they do this over the repeater? The answer is yes, absolutely you can do that. It's called modulated CW or MCW and it is perfectly fine. Now note that uh, you generally want to keep it off of repeaters because a whole bunch of people listening to it unless the co the club for example has a code class say every saturday morning at nine o'clock they're going to send code for an hour uh, so that people can uh, copy it um, but if you want to take a simplex frequency and go off and do this with a friend or group of friends you can do that it is somewhat more realistic than just sitting in a room doing code copy because uh, if you're sitting in the room, it's easy to say, wait a minute, I didn't get that. You can't do that with the FM radio because it's only half duplex. So you can, you're either transmitting or receiving. So um, it's a little bit more realistic. Um, you can set the code up at uh, certain speeds. Uh, you can actually have conversations back and forth on a simplex frequency again. Uh, between yourself and your friend. You can do this in two meters, 70 centimeters, whatever that you want to do. Now, as technicians, you are also able to actually do real Morse code on uh, the channel. There's a weird um, thing in, in, in uh, amateur radio where anything except FM on VHF or UHF is referred to as a weak signal mode. Well, sometimes those signals are pretty strong, but just that's a, a piece of slang. When you say weak signal modes, that means anything except FM. Okay. Now your handheld cannot do um, anything other than FM. Okay. But if you have a radio like uh, my uh, ICOM 7300 here, It'll go on six meters and do genuine CW, real live CW, or sideband, or FT8, or whatever you want to do, AM, uh, FM, uh, so on. There's lots of things that you can do. Um, if you have one of these DC to light radios like uh, the FT991, which goes 160 up to two meters, why you can actually send real CW. Now, one of the things about CW, if you try to receive that on an FM receiver, it just sounds like the squelch is breaking, but there's nobody there. So it's really hard to receive it on FM. What I would recommend if you're doing some uh, code practice on uh, two meters or 70 centimeters is go ahead and just put the code oscillator right in front of the microphone and beep away. And uh, then of course you have to turn off the, uh, you know, you've got to hold your finger on the button for that whole time. But uh, that's a great way for people to get together and learn code. When I was a novice back in ancient times, uh, in the early 1980s, um, no, it was before then, 1975 after I graduated from BYU, I had my novice license and I found a friend across town um, who was also a novice and we would send code to each other every night around eight o'clock until we got our code speed up the two of us to the 13 words per minute that we needed to go down and get our licenses well there's no need to learn code for a license but it can be a lot of fun uh, to play with whether you're using weak signal modes on vhf or just plain old-fashioned cw on 40 meters now you can if you uh, are interested join an organization called sk 
CC, which stands for, um, let's see, it would be standard key. Oh, no, no. SKCC, yeah. Let me look it up on the internet. SKCC. It's Straight Key Century Club. And it's uh, skccgroup.com. skccgroup.com. This is an organization that specializes in what I will call slow code uh, sent using a standard telegraph key like that. This is a standard telegraph key. This happens to be the reference key. Uh, it's an MFJ566M, or you can go straight to cwmorse.us and um, use that. And that this group does everything with straight keys. You can also use a, a side by side, um, oh, I forget what they're called, or you can use a bug, which is like a vibroplex, okay, to practice the code. Uh, code's getting to be a rare skill, and if you can do it, you can carry it on into the future. It's uh, fun, it's different, um, not mandatory for any of the licenses, but oddly enough, the bands are still very active. So, it's just something people love to do. We are doing a giveaway. Um, the giveaway is an HF SIGS Micro BITX version 6. Uh, completely built with the cabinet with a microphone and I'll throw in a power cord. It's a QRP radio that uh, covers the HF bands. Now here's how to enter. Send a postcard, uh, your QSL card, or a uh, letter in an, a single page letter in an envelope uh, that contains your name, the address you want this shipped to, and uh, your phone number in case I have any questions. I don't need your email address or anything. Um, and send it to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. We'll have that drawing the last Thursday of October, and we'll get that packed off. Now, I would recommend that you get your entry into the mail, I mean, actually in the mail, at least a week prior to that deadline. The post office is dying before our very eyes in terms of its uh, quality of service. Um, I had the, the drawing on the 30th, um, and here are some cards. That was giveaway number one. Here's giveaway number two. Somebody had a card, uh, an envelope on the 28th that was postmarked. Well, it did not get here by the 30th another the 28th, another the 28th, here's one the 27th. So um, that particular Thursday is going to be the 28th. So please have your thing in the mail prior to the 21st so that it gets here on time. Please don't include anything else in the envelope, although if you do include, I look inside all the envelopes, if you do include a picture of you and your station, we can show it at the live stream on the 28th. So do that. And uh, please subscribe, please click like, uh, please share. And until we next meet, 73.